One of the most technologically advanced professions is the medical profession, but it didn't always start out that way. Dr. Michael DeBakey is one of the driving forces that helped to revolutionize the medical profession. Dr. DeBakey was born in 1908 in Lake Charles, Louisiana. He pursued his medical degree at Tulane University in New Orleans. He did join in the, the Army after he got his medical license and he worked with the Surgeon General. He's one of the driving forces that moved the um, medical library out of the hands of the Army into the Capitol. Dr. DeBakey is also accredited with helping to invent the modified roller pump which helps to mimic the heart's pulse waves. It's one of the main components that is used in the heart-lung device, and it's still used to this day. Side note, Dr. DeBakey also had to have surgery whenever he was older, and he, this device had to be used on him as well. Dr. DeBakey is also accredited with many of the world's first successful surgeries. In 1953, he's accredited with the first carotid endarctectomy which is basically just cleaning out the carotid arteries of plaque. In 1954, he's accredited with the first resection and graft replacement of an aneurysm of the distal aortic arch and upper descending thoracic aorta, which basically means he helped to fix the aorta after it comes out of the heart, loops down and starts going through the thoracic cavity. He is also accredited in 1955 with the first resection with graft replacement of an aneurysm of the thoracoabdominal portion of the aorta. This is basically just saying he helped to fix the aorta as it goes from the thoracic cavity into the abdominal cavity. He is also accredited in 1958 with the first successful patch graft angioplasty. Whenever you have surgery on, on vessels and you have to sew them together, sometimes that can cause them to shrink. But using this method, it helped to help to make it so that the artery itself wouldn't shrink, it would stay the same size. Dr. DeBakey, like I said, worked up until the age where he was 99. He assisted or did over 60,000 different surgeries throughout his entire career. He has also helped, he is also accredited with helping to create the left ventricular assist device and it was first used in 1966 on a 37-year-old patient. It's used to help wean a patient off of the heart-lung machine so that way they can survive, once, survive easier once they are brought off of it. Dr. DeBakey is one of the most astounding people of the, of the medical profession, and I look up to him as a medical profession, as this is something we want to take after him. We want to pursue things, to push our professions further, so that way hopefully we can help to create a better place for, for, for people in the future. And that's why I chose to do my speech on Dr. DeBakey. Thank you.